We have some new information tonight on a gun found on a Union County school campus. Now, this is the second time something like this has happened this week in the county. And this newest case happened yesterday at Monroe Middle School. As Queen City News reporter Derek Dellinger found out, that gun that was found was stolen from Charlotte. Monroe police tell Queen City News that they are still trying to figure out why the student brought the gun to campus and how it got into his possession. But despite what they don't know, they do say that this student will be facing a significant amount of legal action. Monroe Middle School is quiet, and with the exception of a couple of more police cars than normal, that's really the only sign that this school has had to deal with what they call a serious incident that happened on campus. Police say one student brought a loaded gun to school, and a lot of people saw it. We got a call from the school system yeah. uh, that they had a couple reports of a student mm -hmm. had a firearm with him. Pete Havanek is with the city of Monroe. He tells us Thursday's discovery was one that is not being taken lightly, partly because they found out the gun did not belong to the student or anyone he knew. We were able to track the gun and, and it was indeed a, a reported stolen out of Charlotte. And also because this is the second incident of its type this week in Union County. Earlier this week, Queen City News told you about a canine who was able to sniff out an unloaded weapon in a student's car and ammo in another car at Forest Hills High School. Deputies then spoke about the need for this work. That's my biggest fear when I'm at work is one day the tone drops and that's what it is. Even now though, with another gun found on another campus, authorities are reminding students not to tempt fate because something like this could affect any student's future. This is a sad life lesson that, that our kids have to face nowadays. The student who police say had the gun is facing a number of charges, possession of a weapon on school property, possession of a weapon by a minor, and possession of a stolen gun. In Monroe, Derek Dominger, Queen City News. Derek, thank you for that. And